Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I am Angel and this is Noah. Noah is a full body silicone that I have painted. I just haven't rooted him yet. Um, he is a baby that I have not yet bought to paint and sell, but he will eventually come up. It comes in a girl or a boy version. I'm not sure which one I will get, but I just really see this one as a boy. I do and I just love him. So we'll go ahead. We're going to do a changing on him. You haven't seen him for a while, but first we're going to go ahead and read the word. We're on February uh, 12th, can't believe, or 20th, can't believe we're almost done with February. The trap of business or busyness. Then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat. He said to his disciples, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Mark 6, 31. Do you have days like this? This one in Jesus's ministry days when he, when you have so many demands on you that you don't see how, how you'll ever get anything done. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm trying to rush because of that light. Why in the midst of such busy day did Jesus insist his disciples leave the crowds to rest and be alone with him? He knew that the busier they were, the money they needed to make, or the more they needed to make. Let me reread that. He knew that the busier they were, the more they needed to make time to rest and be alone with him. If they didn't, eventually they would hurt both themselves and those they were uh, seeking to help. The same is true of us. God knows the demands uh, and responsibilities you face at home, on the job, even in church. But God also knows you need his wisdom to keep those things in perspective and you need his strength to get those done rightly. Begin each day with a brief prayer, committing the day to him and asking him to guide you. Then set aside time. I knew it was going to go off, you guys. I'm sorry. Let me turn this other light on over here. Okay. Um, let's see here. Then set aside time, even just a few minutes at first, to be alone with God in his word and in prayer. If Jesus found it important, shouldn't you? So see what God's saying, that even through all the work and the demands of life that we have, we need to spend time. We need to have time for ourselves. We do. We need to stop, settle down. So we need to do this where it's saying, be alone with God in his word in prayer. We need to give that alone time to God. We do. We definitely need alone time talking to our Heavenly Father, you know, talking to Jesus, thanking him for what he did. It said, if Jesus found it important, we should too. We need to find it important where it says the trap of busyness. We are so busy all the time. The demand of life now, even from way back, is so much more busier now, the hustle and bustle and all that. But we tend to forget, take a few breaths, sit back, relax, and take the time that you need for yourself, but give it to God. Be giving all that time you can you know, when you're feeling like that, you know, feeling like so busy and so overwhelmed, that's when you need to sit back, pray, talk to God, read his word. It'll help you to relax because the devil is the one that's helping, you know, all that busyness in your life to feel even more overwhelmed. So we need to stop, give it to God, pray, read his word, give time to ourselves. We all need that. Like I'm a busy woman. I got videos I make, clean the house. I've got babies I paint. I'm a busy girl. I work like seven days a week. I try to give myself a day of freedom, but it's really hard to do. And God wants us to take that time. But I do give God his time and stuff like that. Do I do it every day? No, there are days that I'm so busy, but we need time. And, and this was a good one for me, made me realize that I need to take time for me. I haven't been doing that lately. I've been really just focusing on all these videos and painting babies and doing what I can to, you know, please everybody else, please the world. And we don't need to do that. We need to take time for us. We need to please God. We do. We need to always make sure we're pleasing God. But then please, you know, we don't have to please the world, but you know what I mean? Be kind to the world, be generous and, and do nice things and stuff like that. But take time for yourself. You know, you can't be working seven days a week. Even God rested on the seventh day. We definitely need time to rest and just, you know, stay relaxed and calm and, and, the best time is to be giving it to God. Sit back, listen to the scriptures in your ear and just kick back and listen to what God has to say because he's telling you to rest from the busyness. And I'm one busy girl. I am. I have a lot going on in my life, but we need to make time for God. And I try to always, you know, get that in there. But there's times that I don't get it in. It's, God, I'm sorry I didn't get it in. Really sorry. But then I thought, well, I could have given God 10 minutes. We all have time, 10 minutes to just sit and relax. We do. The wisdom for today. From the very beginning of God, from the very beginning, God, 
You taught us to incorporate regular periods of rest time in our lives. Teach us to pause long before exhaustion sets in so you can rejuvenate our bodies and refresh our spirits. Again, if you overwork yourself again, that's that's not good on the body either. We need time to rejuvenate, you know, recoup our body, relax our body from things and stuff like that. We it's important. God says that that's why he rested. You know, not that he needed it, but he was teaching us that we need to rest on the seventh day. You know, we we can't be just constantly working. When you feel overworked and overwhelmed, that's when your body's telling you, stop. You need to stop. No matter how much you think you can do, you need to stop and you need to take a breath. You need to relax, maybe take a nap, whatever. But listen to God's word while you're taking a nap. Fall asleep to his word. That'd be wonderful, you know, but we all need to do that. And it's been taught from the very beginning that he wants to incorporate regular periods of rest into our life. We need those rest times too. Remember that, you guys. Remember that we all need rest. We do. Because the trap of busyness is what it was called. The trap of busyness. Lives are getting harder and busier as time goes on. People needing more and more money, working seven days a week and all of that. All the money in the world ain't going to give you true happiness. I know sometimes we have to to feed our kids and, you know, roofs over our head and all that, but we also need to take that time for ourselves to relax. Start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. Live by it, you guys. It's so important to be listening to his word. Give yourself that alone time. Sit back and take a couple of deep breaths and take a 10-minute snooze listening to his word in your ear or just, just be listening to his word in your ear. Relax. We need to do that because our bodies can get overwhelmed. It, we can really overwork the body. Let's not do that to ourselves. Let's relax. That's a great one to listen to because a lot of us live in a hustle and bustle world right now. But there's always time to, to give yourself just 10 minutes to relax. We need that. And when you're feeling overwhelmed, take a day off of everything. Just take a day off and relax. Take that seventh day off like God talks about. Remember that. All right. So now we're going to get little Noah. Noah. No, yeah, he's in the Bible. Oh, I love this baby. Look at him. He's one that I haven't done. I did all his work. He's got the little pimples, the blushing, the mottling, all of that. You see the little pimples above the eye and stuff like that that I did on him. So beautiful. He's a little baldy, though, as you see. He's got the great mottling on his head and all that, but I will be rooting him. I got a color picked out for him, but good size baby. He is like more of a preemie size baby. I think he's a 17 inch baby, but he's chunky. I love those chunky babies because they can fit into newborn size clothing, but we're going to get him over to the changing table. Mm -hmm. Give him a kiss. I haven't kissed him for a while and uh, we'll change him up. We'll see you guys over there. All right, you guys, so we're back here at the table with sweet Noah. I will show you when I take off his stuff. I'll show you some more of his art up close and hopefully this light stays on. We're going to try to do this quickly. So here's what I'm putting on little Noah. This cute little outfit here, it's Cloud Island, and it comes with the matching little pants. It is a size um, newborn. It is, but it looks like a smaller newborn, so I think it's going to be perfect for him. It is just a white shirt with gray stripes, but it paired with these yellow pants. So he's going to wear these pants. Let me see. Yep, it's still the Cloud Island, and it is the newborn size. Yep. So he is going to be wearing this outfit which I think is so cute, how they did the white and gray like that stripe, just a white top. That's all it is. And we'll tuck it in with the yellow hair, with the yellow pants. He's going to be wearing that. We're going to put a hat because he is a baldy, so a white hat and then the little white socks on him. I don't know if he has white socks on. If we do, then we'll leave those on him. But we're going to get him changed. Yeah, we're going to change you, little Noah, my sleeping little sweetheart. Yes, he's such a sweet baby. He is. I really love this baby. I do. When I got him, I was so in love. And I'm just like, sweet baby Noah. I always called him baby Noah. He's got white socks, so we can just leave those on him. But I love the paint job I did. I love all the mottling he has uh, with all that mottling. And, of course, then you've got your blemishes and all that. It's just phenomenal looking. It really is. I love the way he turned out, and I can't wait to root his hair as well. Give him some really pretty baby fine hair. Yeah, he's a beautiful baby. And I'd like to do this one, like I said, as a cell baby as well because I haven't done this one as a cell baby. His mottling is phenomenal. I've had people tell me that they love the mottling on this one. I'll take his little hat off so I can show you his mottling. But check out his mottling on this baby. Look at this mottling on him. I knew the light was going to go off. Shoot. Hopefully you can still see the mottling and the blemishes that he has. I love that. And then when I go down, hopefully you can see the leg, the blushing there. Looks like we have one little shiny spot that mommy has to fix. Um, remember, when I'm doing my babies, I um, it won't go on right now. When I'm doing mine, um, I am rushing more than I am for somebody else. 
So you might miss a spot. And then he was more in the beginning, like he was a while ago when I was doing it. And I'm learning now as I go along with these babies, I'm learning that while you're within the first, the first seal when you're doing it, I mean, I seal them twice, but I'm saying that seal with the powder, with the uh, silicone velvet, that you have to, in the first half hour, keep going back and checking that baby because you'll start to see shiny spots come through. And again, you learn as you go. And so in the last few months, I've been learning that. And I, my babies are sealing the first time now. I mean, meaning when I do the second part where I do the powder with it, when I do that, because I seal my babies twice, but the powder is the once. I only do that once, but I do the seal twice, which is the wet, um, you know, and then the wet to dry. Um, but I just go over the first half hour every 10 minutes and just keep looking because you'll see spots pop through that show you where he's shiny well on him i really only see it on the knee here that's all that i see just right there in the leg and the knee other than that he is sealed really good everywhere and i would if i would have known that back then he would have been perfect but what's nice is he's my baby and i can seal him but before babies go that i sell i look those over now maybe he was one that i did try to do and it didn't seal there well, then you just put a little powder because if you do get a baby for me and it doesn't, there's a you know shiny spot. It wasn't because I didn't do good, you guys, because I do. I, I check them. It's because it didn't seal. There would be a spot on that baby that didn't seal because I tried like three times and it didn't seal. Sometimes babies just won't seal in a certain spot. But now I can show you the mottling a little bit better on him. Look at how beautiful that mottling is on him. Gorgeous. Look at those fingernails. So cute. Look at that mottling on the head and the veining and all that so stunning. Look at his little baby pimples. Adorable. But yeah, so, and he's another floppy baby. Look at how far he goes back too. He is a flopper too. I'd like to get this one on my hands and sell this one too. He's a great, he's like a Levi size baby, but chunkier. So that's what I like about him. But yeah, so we're going to get him changed up. And like I said, if you ever get a baby from me and there is a spot, it wasn't because I missed it. It's because it wouldn't seal there. So that's when you would just put a little baby powder there. You know, literally, you just need a little tiny bit of powder. And he might have been one, like I said, because it's just his knee. And maybe I didn't miss it. Maybe it was because I thought by then when I did him, I thought I was doing it where I go over for the first half hour, but maybe not. Maybe that's something that happened right after I did him that I started to learn that or whatever. But I would check the babies after they were done and sealed and I would check them and I must have missed that or knew it and just didn't do nothing about it. But literally, <laughs> that light is just not going to stay. Literally, I would just take a little powder here. And I'll just do it with my hand. And I would just go over that little spot there. That's all you got to do. So if you do get a baby from me, and I would re recommend using your hand. Don't do a lot of rubbing. You can use uh, a powder brush, like a makeup brush, and just pounce it on. That's fine. But look at, see, that's all I had to do. And it's fine. That part sealed. And it might have been that he just didn't seal there. But I will try, go over him once. And if I notice that it doesn't seal, then it was because he wasn't going to seal. It was a spot that I didn't miss. He just didn't seal. So I just always recommend not powdering babies if you don't have to. Um, if you have a baby, you have to, it's one thing, but just be pouncing it on. If you got a baby from somebody else and it's got spots like that, don't be rubbing because you're going to rub off more of the seal and then you'll go right to the uh, actual paint job and you'll start rubbing off the paint job. I have four and $5,000 babies that, um, or three to $4,000 babies that literally um, were peeling so bad their paint job. It was, I ended up having to fix them. And that's what I get so sad about. And that's why I take pride in my seal. I really do. I take pride in what I do in my work and I don't want to sell a baby um, unless that baby is done, you know, to perfection. And like, I will explain if there is a spot, I will say it. And I haven't had to because pretty much they've sealed. But if you notice one that I might have missed and I didn't see it, it's not that I didn't see it. I just forgot to mention it to you guys. So if you do see it, I have worked my butt off to get that baby sealed perfectly. It's just a spot that won't seal. And it doesn't mean anything to do with the budget baby. It could be any baby could have a problem sealing it. Definitely. Look at how cute my little Noah is. Oh, my goodness, he's sweet. Yes, he is. He's so sweet. We'll get some photographs, you guys. He's going to blow you a kiss. Mwah. He loves you. I love all you guys. Mwah. But remember, God loves you the most. Take time for yourself. Take a break once in a while. Don't overwork yourself. None of us have to do that. We all need to take a break to recoup, rejuvenate our body again, and just relax. And by, by that, be giving it to God at the same time. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.